American automakers are leading the transition to electric cars. And while we may be ahead in technology innovation, we have a fundamental problem. We do not own the supply chain. China does. At the heart of an electric car is its battery, made from metals sourced from around the world in a supply chain stretching 50,000 miles. And after decades of deliberate industrial policy, China now controls the battery materials supply chain. China funds and operates mining projects around the world, processes and refines these metals at home, and is now in a strong position to dictate the terms. So currently, China holds the lifeline to our electric future. Our transition to clean energy will take several decades and require large quantities of critical metals. In many cases, we don't have the domestic deposits to produce these metals at home. So what can the United States do? Accept our dependence on China and learn to live with potential supply chain disruptions? No, we can't build an industry with this vulnerability. Work with our allies to develop an alternative, more secure supply chain? Yes, but it won't be enough. China owns nearly every contract for the future supply of key metals, like nickel. Could we look beyond conventionally mined metals? Recovering metal from scrap and electronic waste is crucial and may solve our problem in the long term, but it won't be enough in the next 30 years, which is why it may be time to look beyond land-based mines. 1,500 miles off the coast of California is the world's largest known deposit of battery metals. Nickel, copper, cobalt, and manganese all packed into a single rock. These polymetallic nodules can be collected and brought to American soil and processed by American companies. It's a path to make real progress in solving our supply chain problem by making the battery materials at the heart of electric cars at home. An opportunity to rebuild an entire industry from the ground up, reshore manufacturing in the US and create new jobs. The United States has a choice. We can try to play catch up with China in the conventional metal supply chain, or we can innovate and secure our own future.